Well, hi there, and good on YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to today's very different video on YouTube. This is actually going to be a very different and very brief, but also short video, of course, because I have actually found something on the weather forecast that we might actually get like another. Well, I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to be a heat wave or a mini heat wave in this country, though. But um, I really don't know what to really say. Uh, it's actually kind of a bit debatable, though, because there's a bit of traffic outside, and also. Yeah, I'm in a different neighborhood though. There might be some knocking outside right over my room, but we'll see how it goes. Because honestly, I don't know about you, but this climate change gobbledygook has been around for like, well, it's been around for years, ever since the Industrial Revolution, and also just around, let's say, after the 60s and the 70s. It's probably one of the biggest uh, things I might talk about in this video in relationship to climate change. And yes, this is actually going to be a bit of a questionnaire type video there because next week, and I do know by the very end of next week, what we're actually going to be experiencing is some pretty high temperatures. And I might try and grab the webcam, which is pretty much something that I totally have outlawed in my vloggers videos because normally in vloggers videos, I would often tend to speak right in front of camera. You know why I did that gesture before? That's basically what I did. So, with that being said, I'll try and show you the weather forecast along the way. Uh, hopefully I don't want to get too caught up and biased along the way though, because people think, ah, oh, you're an absolute nutter, you're an absolute entrepreneur of the BBC weather um, system. Of course, yes, I don't really endorse all of that. Uh, of course, yes, one, it's subject to copyright. Two, I've got nothing to do with it. And three, of course, yes, it's their own property. And of course, yes, that's something I really want to use this as a bit of an asset to get myself as a bit of full attention for the fact that, yes, our climate is pretty much distorted and contorted. So yes, I might go ahead and grab the gut pound there in a very, very nice brief way. No jump cuts in this one here. So yes, what we're seeing at the moment is some very, very wet weather though. In fact, what we had recently after the summer of 2023 of course yes you know in June we had some particularly very very wet spells and hot spells of course in fact it was a hot and wet month though July was an atrocious and a bit of a how would you say it? well I'm saying atrocious as in the weather day because I could tell you what it has been one of the wettest Julys so far on record though if I just move the hand gel away which is basically my cream because I've got very dry skin so yes, what we're seeing now is heavy thundery downpours, heavy showers and thunderstorms in my area being, well, it's not Northfield, but of course this I can really slug it into Birmingham. What's even quite obvious is that if you crawl in towards like Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday, what we're actually going to be experiencing is a mini heat wave. Maybe that could be a major heat wave, a major, major one. I might be totally wrong, but the point is this is all down to climate change slash global warming. Would you ever believe that? This is all down to man-made climate change and global warming. Now, of course, yes, if I show you on the weather charts, and I've already done this before in previous videos, so here we are, we have low pressure system. This is the weather system that has been responsible for the amount of uh, wind and rain that we had so far this year's summer, which has been atrocious but very admirable. Sorry, I just said the word admirable, but I've just pronounced it in a very bad way. But, um, you know, water is life. You know, you've got to respect low pressure. Low pressure is very responsible for all of the water and also the rain that it brings us and hydrates us. So, as I'm scrolling along, yes, it actually is something. So what we're having at the moment is low pressure and high pressure. Now, what we all notice is that there's a kink on the jet stream. So, the jet stream has actually moved further a little bit north, but not really as north as what you think of. So it's still in the UK, but what we're actually seeing at the moment though, is that look at this high pressure system, look how this high pressure slowly nudges in. Um, you can see the tail end of the low pressure, it's just headed up towards Scandinavia. And what we're also seeing is an integration between, in fact there's an interlocked amalgamation of two high pressure systems in the UK, in fact continental Europe. And what we're seeing is uh, an interlocked, interlocked air mass of high pressure. So we're seeing two of them and around in, in Europe, of course. Now, if you may have noticed, the high pressure system that we had in the 
Mediterranean and also central and southern parts of Europe and same thing for Eastern Europe that has been very responsible for the European heat wave which topped up 40 degrees Celsius in fact there's been some very severe heat waves and droughts over the Mediterranean uh, which has been extremely bad so far Greece had some very very abhorrent wildfires or bushfires as I call them because I sound Australian uh, same thing for Italy yep in fact a lot of part a lot of the Mediterranean areas including Spain France and worst of all Italy had their worst heat waves especially in Greece and of course this, uh, that would probably include like places like Turkey and Croatia I'm not really a bit of a Mediterranean person now but I seem to know my geographics even Portugal is seeing a hellish lot of wildfires and that's why Mediterranean climates might be perfect for sun seekers but in terms of climatization done by global warming and climate change as always as usual today this is a very inhospitable and very uninhabitable type of land would you ever agree on that? I bet people should probably fly and move a little bit northwards if they're gonna enjoy a bit of summer weather right as we track along notice the high pressure is extending it's interlocked within another high pressure, it's a high pressure within another high, high pressure and another high pressure but what we're seeing is a low pressure system and look at this high and look what's happening with this high pressure, there's, there's a conveyor of low pressure but has been severely bombarded by another bit of um, high pressure, you can see how the high pressure is nudging in but yet again notice there's this bit of low pressure cornering in and it's actually standing for ground but while it is standing for ground, look at the low pressure, it's starting to uh, expand its way in but the high pressure itself, it's actually trying to um, sustain itself, it's trying to retain itself before, I believe, the week after next week what we're going to be seeing on Tuesday of two weeks time is probably some very cool and very unsettled weather now that could probably be the ultimate grand nutshell for every August and September of 2023 you know that might be a very typical weather pattern that we might probably see during you know late summer and early autumn and of course this August is not a very long month okay so while everyone's making up the most for our summer holidays that's pretty much about it well anyways that's just pretty much a very brief video about the weather that we're having in this country and also forwarding towards like next week I'm not sure if this is going to be a heat wave. People say to me that, ah, but I'm in 25 degrees Celsius. Alright, I'm going to pull off in a British way. Oh, but I'm in 25 degrees Celsius is pretty hot in this country. Well, to, for, to be honest with you guys, I don't feel like it's that hot enough. Maybe, you know, if you're topping up to at least around, you know, I guess like the 30 degree mark, which is very impossible in this country though maybe 26, 27, 28 that might be hot enough but to me who knows I feel like I'm a very tropical slash subtropical type person and I'm not really comparing or judging people in the way that on how people adapt with heat and I know the UK people um, of course is they're not really properly built for this heat even all other countries across Europe aren't really built across the heat though across a heat wave summer so with that being said, high pressure is about to stay from like next week. That's it. So, this is more than just a vlogger's video. If you really enjoyed this very strange video, um, please give this video a like. Subscribe for more for videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and bye for now. Especially for climate change. Ooh.